All right. Well, this is a best of seven or best of five. Sorry. Welcome in everyone. Sebastian versus Yo. Sudden disaster. Best of five. And we're starting this one out on suburbs. If you lose your town centers, you are dead. Now, this map starts with three, so you have to lose all three town centers. Also, it is regicide, so if you lose your king, you are dead as well. And players aren't going to take too many risks with the king. This is the most unfortunate suburbs board generation I've ever seen. Sebastian literally has to delete two segments of walls and then pull this in with the scout because it's on the other side of the wood line. <laughs> But he's doing fine, and he's doing the stop. He's doing the stop lure. This is very, this is very unusual. I think we saw this in Hint Cup too. And I was like, who does the stop lure? Because the stop lure is not common. Players, especially like older players who are around on Vubli, do the side to side because lag was a thing back then, and the stop command was not as consistent. Bringing in the boar. Huang does. MBL, I know MBL does the side to side. I'm sure he can do the stopler, but I can't remember the last time I saw him doing that. Unless it's at like very short range. Anyway, we have slabs for Yo. We have Bengalis for Sebastian. Slabs are becoming like the pick for this map simply because of the farming speed. When you start with three TCs, even if you have the extra res from Regicide, which gives you like 500 food when you start. Um... You still need a lot of food to keep these TCs producing, and we won't see them click up to Feudal Age until they're at like 50 pop with like 30 farmers because the town centers are just requir requiring so much food to keep going, and you have to build up enough food for Feudal Age. Now, if we look at town center positions, sometimes it can be really, really unfortunate, and it is kind of unfortunate for Sebastian here. With this TC being forward. But Yo also has one. So whoever is in Castle Age first. Unless there's like a preemptive wall up here. Which could be fairly easy. Um, they're going to get Castle dropped. On this front TC. And they'll likely lose that pretty quickly. Now on the other side. We have Bengalis for Sebastian. Bengalis will get six villagers when they get to Feudal Age. Two vills per TC. They'll get six more when they get to Castle Age, and then they will get an additional six villagers in Imperial Age for a grand total of 18 free villagers. And that's a lot. That is a lot of villagers. The problem with Bengalis is their tech tree. Ratha, not super good, right? You could go for the monks, which is... Okay, but not really the unit you want to go for when you have like a hundred villager plus eco behind. Monks are more of a one TC type of play or a defensive type of play. It's going to be really, really tough to push with them or keep track of all the army coming in, especially if the Slav player goes into like Light Cav or Hussar immediately. That's going to be really rough. And I think that should be the play, honestly, for Yo. We've seen Boyars attempted, but Boyars are very expensive. And they get countered by the monks. So if he just goes Imperial Age, a couple castles around here, and then Trebs and Light Cav, he can then switch into Halberdier if he needs it. He can switch into Boyar if he needs it. He can switch into uh, Siege if he needs it. There's a lot of options for the Slavs. There's not as many for the Megalis. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're having a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever. Stone is being mined from Yo. Stone is not being mined already from Sebastian. And he's still, he was still in the Dark Age. So Sebastian will probably be attempting a fast Imperial. But like with Bengalis, it feels like you got to go as quickly as possible because you get those additional villagers when you get up. You should always be the first person in Feudal Age, it feels like. It just makes sense. You get six additional villagers. That'll make up for the idle time of that TC going up to the next stage. Even if you have to stall out a little bit and wait for the resources to come in for Imperial Age. That's kind of weird. Horse Caller, double bit axe from Mr. Yo. He waits for his buildings to be built. 
and then he'll click up. Also going for Town Watch, and Yo already has this forward position. Sebastian has not done anything about this. He's still not even on stone. What is the plan? What is the plan here for Sebastian? Just now going to the stone. Probably from, what, these vills after they're done? They go immediately to stone. Haha! -ha! Two of them. Wow. Market stable. That's really, really strange to me. Really strange how slow he is to click up. Yo is at 70 villagers. Sebastian already at 83 because of Bengalis. And because he stalled out in Dark Age a little bit longer. But you can see Yo still has more res collected here. He's gone for the stable. He's going for the armor upgrades. And he'll have enough stone for a castle. So that town center will likely just be taken out right away. He's He knows it's there. Like, Sebastian knows this TC is here. I think Sebastian is just giving this up. I'm surprised he's seeding farms here. Really, dude? You have to know. Like... Okay, it, th that just seems like such a waste. Yo is going to castle drop right here on your face. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. We're 22 seconds away from that happening. Very strange. Like it, it, it's going there, and I hope I hope Yo puts it right here, so he can cut off everything. It's got a scout attack in this bill. Still no lumen from Sebastian as he quick walls in that villager, but he's going to lose it anyway. And there's the castle, and now those farms rendered fairly useless. And Sebastian needs to run away from all this food eco. He's going to be pressured on the gold a little bit. He'll need another castle here. But Yo has knights. Yo is going for the knight edition. He's not just going to make Boyar. He's going to go for the plus two armor. And he will raid like crazy. And this is an approach that we haven't seen from Mr. Yo. Great quick walls from Sebastian. Oh my god. Bop, bop. Those came up so quickly. As Yo goes for a siege workshop and more knights... And Sebastian is going to be in trouble. Sebastian still doesn't even have Loom. He's getting it right now. He managed to save some of these villagers. But for how long? This TC won't stay alive for very long at all. And remember that remember that wall segment. Okay? I want you to remember it. He deleted that to go get the boar. And now he's over chopped. It's open. Sebastian is on the way to him. But if Yo has a ton of knights... What is Imperial Age really going to get Sebastian? It's going to get him some trebs. It's going to get him maybe block printing for some of these monks. But Yo can run in with the knights and snipe those trebs. And Yo has no chill. He's still going for knights. He's still going for rams and scorpions. He's got another siege workshop. And look at this. Another castle. Sebastian at 103 vils. He'll get an additional six villagers. When he gets to Imp, and the Boyar blocked the initial castle, it's going to help against these Ratha, and Sebastian will be pushing out with an insane amount of villagers to try and complete this castle. Yo's castle will probably go up now that the knights are coming in. The knights are really coming in. There's a lot of them, and there's not going to be enough space in that castle for all the vills. Sebastian can't deny this. Yo will get this castle up. Yo will have... A great position on this side. He's already taken out the TC on this side. And even though Sebastian is going to be an Imperial Age first, Yo is in deep trouble. Deep, deep trouble. Now the question for Mr. Yo. Do you go after the castle with the petards? Or do you go after the TC and just take it out? And then you only have one TC to focus on. If he took this out before Imp, he denies two vills. And he can deny all future villager production. Because you can't replace the town center. No, you can't make more TCs. You cannot make more TCs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There is a hole. He can't see it. 
And Yo's opponent gets to the Imperial Age. Yo is still with Knights, still with Boyars here. And Sebastian is trying to take out this Ram. He's going to pay a high price for taking out that Ram, though. The Knights are here. The Boyars are here. And there's another Ram for Mr. Yo. And Mr. Yo will probably take out the castle. Oh, my goodness. Does he take it out before the Treb comes in? No. But he can snipe that Treb if he really wants to. He's going after it now. The castle falls, which means the TC is fair game. Sebastian pushes out with a ton of monks. Mr. Yo now going to light cav. The tenants also on the way. Make his castles cost stone and wood. And he's going to more stone over here. Mr. Yo with a lot of control. And he's still pushing towards this final TC from Sebastian. And Sebastian has to constantly be worried about his, his economy, right? Mr. Yo has no concerns about that. There's no units that can really raid him. Sebastian is playing full-on defense right now. Devotion would be huge here for Yo, but I think he wants to go up to Imperial Age. Nope. Devotion on the way. Nilly Prey. And now it's a Halberdier switch from Sebastian. Yo has a lot of map control to give up, though. Like, Sebastian has to get through both of these castles. Yo will have another 650 stone for a follow-up castle defensively. Yo also pushing over here with the light cabin. Sebastian needs to be careful. These rams are coming in. The knights are still killing vills. The boyars are still killing vills. Eco KD is 23 to 3. And Sebastian's trying to farm wherever he can. It's not safe over here. He farms in the middle of the map. Who is Sebastian? Really good player. He's our young rising star, dude. All right. He's taking out a castle. He's going to take out another one. Imperial Age on the way for Mr. Yo. Wisely from this TC. And the infantry switch is coming in shortly. Yo might be housed. Yo's going to be giga mega housed. Oh my god. 150 out of 110. 150 out of 110 populate. That is pain. That is pain. Juggler, thank you for the five months. Oh boy. And he might even lose this castle right away too. He's going for another castle here. What on earth? Mr. Yo. Will force some of these trebs back and if they don't come back here well he's just gonna kill this town center i think he can range that town center from like right here with a treb might just be out of range but the castle will help take down the wall and if sebastian loses this he's out he's done the play is for mystery o he's waiting for him i think he just got men at arms so the infantry are on the way shortly. <clears throat> is this true? Is what true? At De Veoe, is this true? Is 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 what true? Holy, it's true. True if big. I'm very confused. <laughs> Long swords coming in. From four, no, five barracks behind. And if Yo takes out this house, if he's got trebs, he can take out this TC. Lewis, thank you for the raid, man. Welcome in, everyone. Sebastian versus Yo, sudden disaster. This is a smart play from Sebastian. If he doesn't take out this castle, he's dead, 100%. However, this is exactly what Yo wanted. Best case scenario, he takes out the TC from Sebastian. Worst case scenario with this castle, the Trebs have to roll back. But then that buys him a ton of time to get into the two-handed swordsman and the champion. And then he's going to be having Drazina and fighting up against Halb with champion. Look at the text flying in, though, from Sebastian. Still 104 villagers. Only has one town center to produce out of now. 
But he's getting Mahayana. Chemistry, Fletching, Upgrades. And Champion on the way. Why not Drazina? Why Champion first? So, it, wouldn't Drazina be a better upgrade? Hmm. I guess he can just get it now, but still. I guess it depends if you're fighting up against large groups or not, right? Like a singular champ a singular two-handed swordsman doesn't benefit from Drazina if it's only fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Grabs are pushing across. Mr. Yo is at 138 bills. Mr. Yo has the Trebs pushing out this way. He's got so much map control. It's actually unreal. I don't think I've seen a player with this much like external map control on this map. They usually focus right down the middle. And he's like, instead of fighting this army that he can very clearly beat, he will just rip through this army. He's like, nah, I'm going to go for the sneak attack. Why not? And he'll try and take out the castle here from Sebastian. If that castle goes down, he can push towards the town center. Arbalist is now in from Sebastian. Memp sends his regards. What? <laughs> Hi, Mem. <laughs> Thank you, O'Reilly. Appreciate it, brother. Drazina now on the way. <clears throat> and the Trebs are exposed. The Arbalist switch was really nice from Sebastian. He saw the champions coming. He went for Arbalists, and Arbalists are going to be a good counter to that. But once again, Yo has the momentum. Yo's got the initiative. He's got the moves. He's got the eco. 44 on food with slabs. Food is going to be coming in like crazy, and all you're producing are champions? Like, sure. Sign me up. Absolutely sign me up. Run, Trev! Oh my god, dude. Trev on a hill. Tanks the shot. 6 HP, and Sebastian continues to live. Capped Rams will be difficult with these Arbalists being produced. And not really many Halbs anymore. Doesn't really have any Wrath, though. The Capped Rams will be difficult for Sebastian to counter. And Yo just always in another angle here. Now goes for more stables, so maybe switches back into some cavalry. He's still got the stuff over here, and he'll go for a capped ram, because of course he does. Sebastian starting to fortify a little bit, the town center. But he's at 81 vils. Losing your TCs is bad, because that's you need them alive to uh, stay alive in the game. But it's also bad because you can't reboom once you've lost vils. And we can see that on full display here for Sebastian. Is one of these going to die to a random trip shot? Oh, so close. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Not even close. Oh. It's over, guys. <laughs> Yo's coming. <laughs> but he doesn't garrison in the ramps. He goes after the villagers instead. <clears throat> and Sebastian can clear these up. But at what cost? At what cost? 61 villagers for Sebastian. Sebastian will need some sort of YOLO push, and that's what it looks like he's doing right now. He's going to go after this TC. If Yo's not paying attention, maybe there's a world Sebastian can kill this one. But he's sending the champions over now. And if Yo, if Yo just commits to those, he's going to kill him. Sebastian calls the GG. His TC is going to go down very, very soon, and he has only 60 villagers. Great play from Mr. Yo. Really phenomenal. I, I don't know what Sebastian was thinking. 
leaving this TC completely exposed here. And then, like, even a couple houses here to force the castle back, and it's much easier for you, right? Uh, also, really slow feudal age time from him. Slavs were not one of the initial civ picks when we saw this map. It was a lot of Lithuanians, a lot of Malay. Malay Lithuanians probably still really good here. Um, and then we had Bengalis making an appearance, even Hindustanis as well, but Slavs have really picked it up. Very popular pick now. Yo, Cultivated Meat, thanks for the gift sub to Mem. It's a good gifter. Look at that eco. Oh my god. Almost 20k more. Dang. Great job from Yo. So one nothing Yo. Suburbs goes to him. And uh we mark it down with Slabs came in as the final pick. But so did Bengalis. Take a look at the other civs from Sebastian here. Goths, Spanish, Franks, Persians, Burgundians, all pretty good. Bohemians, Aztecs, Khmer, Turks, Celts for you. Sebastian will probably go to one of his home maps. It might just be Arabia. And then he might just pick Persians. And if Yo is playing up against Persians on Arabia, I think something like Aztecs could work, right? Maybe you want Aztecs for Haboob. You probably want like, I don't know. Turks for Arena, Bohemians for Socotra. And then Arabia is like Celts, Khmer, Aztecs. Yo picked Arena? Yeah, man. The thing is, like, I've talked to Yo about Arena a couple times. Um, he has this thing where his chat, like, bets against him when he plays Arena. And if he wins an Arena game, they'll, like, gift him subs or whatever the equivalent is. So, sometimes he likes picking it. Especially in like the non super serious situations and even in the serious situations because it's Mr. It's Mr. Fucking Yo and he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> but uh, he, he likes doing the unexpected. And he's gotten quite good at Arena actually. He was really bad for a while for his standards anyway. And he realized it was his weakest, one of the weakest maps. So he's played it enough to get good with it. We are indeed going on to Arabia. We're just waiting for the match to start. Did anyone ever try douche with Persians and get surprised? Get surprised by the fact they were defeated when they deleted their TC? No, I haven't seen that. It would be funny, though, especially in like the round of 16 or whatever we're playing here. Sebastian has not gone for Persians. He has gone for Franks, and Yo has gone for Khmer. Hope could have done it. He was too busy 3TC booming, bro. He was way too busy not reading the rules yet. <laughs> I haven't read the rules yet. Well... That will live forever, yep. I mean, he was going to read the rules once he won a couple rounds, you know? Game is now paused. Franks for Sebastian, Yo with Khmer, and I don't see a reason why the game was paused, so we'll just sit here for a while. Maybe a little corner check. That's a good corner. Two trees, a lion, some hills, nice. That's a good corner as well. Interesting corner over here. And an interesting one here. I think this is like sneaky good, this corner.
Yeah, both of them are in a little crater. Happens sometime, right? You have the hills around here, big hilly system, and then the TC flattens the land out. And that means that they're both surrounded by hills. We take a look at Yo's base. Well, gold is back, berries are back. Wood lines might be a concern, but overall a pretty good map. Sebastian. Same style of map, honestly. The wood line's a little bit better, but the walls are going to be a little bit more difficult for him. Having the berries in the back of ranks is also a nice touch. What's up, Calpit? How's it going, man? All right, chat. Who do you like better, Khmer or Franks? Chainfire, don't bite the bait that Lars is offering. Don't bite it. He's fishing right now. The, the worm in front of your face, don't bite that. <laughs> okay? Do not bite Lars's worm. All right? Mem sends regards. The Who are you? Like, <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I didn't see. Who do you like better, Kamur or Franks? I didn't see. I was busy with Lars's worm, and then I was busy with O'Reilly with Memberguards times three or whatever it is. You have beef with me? No! I don't know what this guy's talking about. Come here. Okay. Loom coming in from Mr. Yo. Don't tell me. He's going to go up at 16 population. He's up. 16 pop. Come here up time here. Didn't make the mill because he didn't need to with Khmer. And he's got Loom. So this is going to be a fairly weak economy for Mr. Yo. And we'll see if he's just going to play into scouts, which is likely. You don't really have the eco to go anything else. I mean, at this point, is he even going to have the eco for a stable? Probably because he doesn't need to make the barracks. But still, man, he's only got four on wood. He's only got four on wood right now. He's sending two more, but he's a minute away from Feudal Age. This is a cutthroat build. This is FC. This is not FC, bro. <laughs> it can't be, dude. One hundred percent FC. This is like one of those Reddit fast castles where the guy says, "I, I routinely pull off." A 13 villager fast castle. And then you look at his idle TC time and it's like seven and a half minutes. <laughs> like, are you making the villager? What? Sister, yo, you simply cannot be said. Okay, he's building the stable there. I thought he was sending these villagers forward for a second. Stable is going forward in this little choke point. And Mr. Yo will be going for scouts. Not far behind him is Sebastian going up on 18 population. As Yo comes in here, Sebastian wisely moves the goats away. What elo is this game? This, these are the top players. Mr. Yo is probably third, fourth in the world. Sebastian is probably like somewhere 10 to 15th. These are very, very good players. Now, the settings are a little bit strange if you're not familiar with the sudden death setting. You can only have one TC, which is the one you start with. As soon as that dies, you are defeated. And you can't add extras. Yo has done a really solid job. 
He's only got four seconds of idle TC time. He's got the wood upgrade, and he has three scouts already. But my question is, like, did you really need to go up that quickly? What is that giving you? Jeez. This is Huang game mode. Yeah, Huang kind of got slapped on this tournament, though. Huang lost 3-0. Cultivated Meat, thank you for the uh, gift sub to MemTV OP. I send my regards. Spearman scouts here from Sebastian in a straight up scout war. If you're Khmer and you have not made that barracks, you are at an advantage early because you don't have to spend the wood on the barracks, but you are at a disadvantage at this stage where your opponent can just keep Spearman at home, like so, and defend against your army, and you don't have a barracks to make Spearman. So if you want to defend against his army, you either have to wall up, you have to keep hopping in your houses, or you have to keep your scouts at home, which is just not where you want them. You want them forward, and Yo has chosen to wall, and he's sending his scouts forward. He's going for an archer range here, but still no Spearman, so... Sebastian can just keep producing scouts, as, provided he has the food. And it's basically going to counter any of the things that Yo will produce at home. And if Sebastian keeps making Spearmen, it's going to counter all of the army that's coming forward from Yo until the archer production really starts up from that range. Best Humper in chat? You can discuss that privately. Yeah, no damage done whatsoever. One to one, Katie. And good luck keeping up archer production, Mr. Yo. You only have two vills on that gold. Sebastian doing a great job with the scouts, just roaming around here, Mr. Yo. I was a uh, little. Scout Sapid right there. Just guys being dudes. Yep. Uh-oh. 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 Yo trying to take out the Spearman. He loses an archer. Very expensive archers. Because he only had two on gold. Scout wins best humper competition. The only acceptable answer yet. <clears throat> and just a whole lot of nothing so far. Really aggressive uptimes from both. Remember, Yo went up 16 poc. Uh, Sebastian went up 18 population. So it was very, very tight. Very fast. And resulted in basically nothing. But now Sebastian has seven scouts. He's keeping up the production. He's got the spearmen. And the archer number is extremely limited for Mr. Yo. Better hope you don't overchop here, buddy. Man, it feels like that barracks would have been really worth it for Yo. <laughs> it feels like the barracks really would have been worth it here for him. If he could have just a few spearmen with these walls, he could just not care about this army and have all of his scouts forward. Instead, we have Sebastian walling up behind. Very, very comfortable situation for him. 16 farmers. And he's going to kill a villager. First villa of the game. Dead. Yo will go forward with these scouts. And he'll just try and out-repair all of this damage from Sebastian. But he's going to lose vills. Not that guy, but eventually. Maybe her. They're very confused. They don't know what to... Huh? They don't know what to do. And the armor coming in. Oh, boy. Armor for the scouts. 
from Sebastian as Yo tries to get a villager of his own. He might get one. I think he's going to get one. I think he's going to get one here. He misclicked. He got her. One to one eco KD. Archers are forward. Spearmen will struggle against those. But the scouts are coming back. And the scouts might just decide to full clear all of this army. I think Yo is going to get another villager kill. No, he does not. Resources for Sebastian looking better than Mr. Yo. What's up, Brad Jet? How's it going, dude? Welcome. Uh, but Yo... With the Khmer farms, could catch up really quickly. And it could be a very similar uptime. These Frank Scouts are simply better, right? More HP, they have the armor now. No bloodlines is in from Yo. No upgrades whatsoever for the Scouts. And this is a full clear for Sebastian. And oh boy, Mr. Yo. Oh, that's a lot of bodies. That is a lot of bodies. Yo's body count is high. He adds a second range. Is it going to be like Khmer Cav Archers? You can't really defend yourself with this base. Against these scouts. There's still a lot. Nine scouts. Plus one armor. Frank HP. Yo clicks up now. Right after Sebastian. I'm surprised there's no markets. Yeah, they were both they were both focused on production. They balanced their ecos really well. They didn't really need a market because they weren't floating anything. Never saw Commercia before. Really? It'll probably just be crossbows here for Yo, but Commercia are not bad. Not bad at all. No thumb ring is pretty painful. You're looking to get that mass, right? Odds are you probably already have the cavalry upgrades because you're going to be going into knights anyway. So it's just a nice little, it's a synergistic thing. Are there any weak villagers around here? They're all at the back. Yo might get another one, maybe. Is it worth it? Probably not. And now the scouts are working away on this house. Yo can be comfortable in the fact that uh, Sebastian does not have any range units. So as long as he keeps the walls up, these wood lines and the gold and everything is going to be fine. But as soon as Sebastian has anything ranged or as soon as you have one over chop or anything like that, you're just in trouble. You're in deep, deep trouble. Castle Age is in for Sebastian. We're getting the light cav upgrade. Plus two armor and Yo is going into crossbows, but he will not have any spearmen or pikemen to protect these. So as soon as he gets too far away from his town center, those light cav will just jump on the crossbows. Maybe even some knights to mix in here with the crossbows could be great. There's the first market for Mr. Yo. Overchops. Well, they're getting close. Still a ways away and still no range units from Sebastian to take advantage of. Is that a hole? Bro! <laughs> Sebastian just did the same thing as me. <laughs> he saw them path in there. He's like, huh? <laughs> that is a hole right there. Unexpected. And he'll just leave through the same hole. After he kills a couple villagers. And at the same time, he was over here with some knights with some light cab. And Mr. Yo is under all sorts of pressure. Not a situation he's, you know, familiar being in. Usually he's the guy providing the aggression. But Sebastian has just been better with the production. A little bit better with the mobility. And the fact that he had the Spearman early on enabled him to do that. Mr. Yo did not have access to that unit. Probably should have made a barracks in the Feudal Age. Instead, he's made his way slowly into a big crossbow mass. And Sebastian's still applying the pressure. And even against a player like Mr. Yo, if you're attacking in three different areas at once... He's going to slip up eventually, right? One of these walls is going to go down. 
one of these armies is going to get in. And it's a nightmare. Also waiting for ballistics. Might even want to uncue the crossbows so that I could get it. Instead, this dumb villager seeds another farm. And now he uses the market and ballistics should be coming in shortly. There it is. The army's in. The army's in. Yo, trying to escape. He hops in the house. He doesn't lose a villager. These Khmer villagers, man, they're teleporting. They're teleporting. More army coming in from Sebastian at all angles, though. Yo is trying to hold the line. And he makes sure to get that quick wall up. There's a siege workshop forward from Sebastian. To provide a little bit of support for the knights. He does clear a few knights over there. He's got himself a big crossbow mass. 22 crossbows with ballistics. And Sebastian, I'm honestly stunned he hasn't been able to do more damage. But, I mean, the pressure is on right now. As Yo saves more villagers and quick walls again behind there. Yo has just been desperately holding on. And he kills two more like Cav. Is this the moment for Mr. Yo? Still 45 villagers versus 48 from Sebastian. Better eco upgrades here for uh, Sebastian. And now he has a siege workshop. But Mr. Yo is still in this. He's been attacked at every angle. Every single... If we look at the damage received from his houses. Taken. 3,900 damage taken from these houses. Yo has been repairing a lot. Now Sebastian comes in. Yo will hop outside on the other side of the house and try and attack that scorpion. He's going to have to move back with his crossbows, though. Sebastian with the plus two armor ripping through all of this. Mr. Yo, I think he's cooked. He's going to lose his crossbow mass, and there's really not much that you can do unless he's thinking about buying a YOLO castle and trying to get it forward on Sebastian against four stable, five stable production. Not going to happen. Good job from Sebastian. Lots of aggression there. Mr. Yo seemed a little bit stubborn at times, uh, but Sebastian played safe. He played smart, and he takes this one. We got ourselves a series. Man, Sebastian is so good, isn't he? On these open maps, like, just think about the mobility on that game. Even if he hadn't gotten through the hole here, it would have just been inevitable. Like, he was attacking over here, over here, over here. He was attacking over here. He had the light cap diving back and forth to distract the crossbows here. Really solid. Cow treat. Thank you for the 12 months. I honestly think if you if you know it's going to be a scout war, and some players agree with me, some players disagree with me. I brought this up with other people before. You should always add that barracks later as Khmer. If you know it's just going to be a straight up scout war. There's some people that agree with that assessment. I've seen it from people before. Um, and there's some that disagree. I wonder if you can <laughs> pick out one of the players that disagrees with that. And I'll give you their reasoning, too. Their reasoning is that I was saving 175 wood. I don't want to spend 175 wood again. Hera? No, Hera, Hera is very adaptable. Hera, I could see Hera doing that. I think Hera would neither agree nor disagree. MBL? No, I, MBL never... Dude, it's MBL, bro. He never needs an excuse to make experiment. Doubt! Ding, ding, ding! There you go. <laughs> no way. Thank you for the three months. <laughs> Doubt never wants to spend more than he has to on something. Dave, you've got a stain on your shirt? I definitely don't. Tell me what shirt I'm wearing. And I'll believe you. No shirt. The black one, the gray shirt. 
Guns and Roses. My Little Pony tea You're, you're my mom. Like, you sound like my great aunt when I pull a surprise fist. <laughs> you got me, bro. You got, <laughs> you got me. A shirt of man fur. Yo, Fights of Nights, thank you for the 37. You got me, man. Uh, it's, the, it's the small size My Little Pony shirt. You're right. You got me. <laughs> it's actually the nice NAC5 sweater. Very comfy. NEC five hoodie, the only confirmed one you know that I have. If you if you had said that based on what you know, it was a fairly reasonable guess. Sweater, no shirt. Oh, I guess I do have a a t shirt underneath. Still. Welcome into arena game number three. Sebastian playing as Burgundians, you as Bohemians, but it's sudden death. So I think it's going to be aggression, right? Not booming up. None of that. And I just wonder what the approach here for Yo is going to be. Will he go forward with towers or something? Or is he going to feel like Bohemians have a better matchup against Burgundians when it's just one TC eco? I think if we're talking multiple town centers, Burgundians, you know, might be a little bit better in one town center. Play, though, which this is, um, Bohemians might be favored. Burgundians are a trap, in my opinion. Yeah, they might be. Relics are generally favored towards Sebastian. Like, these two are closer. This one's neutral. This one's closer. And then this one is kind of neutral, too. So three closer and two neutrals, but they're not super, super close. I forgot it's one TC. Can I take my bet backs? Nope. No bets. No bets were funded. Never. Never. Fuck you, Riley. I mean, Yo, Astig, thank you for the prime, bro. Thanks for the eight months. Hear me out. One TC equals press the button. Yikes. If you press the Flemish Revolution button with one TC, right, and you get your opponent's town center down to like 10 HP, and maybe you get them down to like 15 vils, because you've killed everything, but you don't kill them off, you then start the long and arduous process of rebooming your your eco with one town center from literally zero vils. <laughs> like, hang on, time out. Time out, give me about 40 minutes and I'll be back in the game. Who needs vils anyway? Yeah, if you have if you have 5 relics with Burgundians, maybe. Cuz they generate gold and food, right? Maybe you can make an argument for that, but I think that's just that's just really bad. It would be funny though. Sebastian will see the extra stone, the extra gold from Mr. Yo on this side, but look at the look at the base from Yo. Stone in the back, gold in the back, and this might influence his decision to go for a more defensive style play. As we see him already adding the houses here, he's gonna think about a, a line of houses and buildings in this direction towards the town center. Take a look at the map from Sebastian. A lot more difficult. Gold forward, stone forward, secondary gold in the back. So that's a nice touch, but the stone being forward is, is really concerning if Yo decides to push or maybe drop a castle somewhere around here. What's worse here, the button or the food monks? Food monks could be a thing. Unlikely, 1TC eco, right? Even on like 130 vils, food monks is rarely a good investment. Unless you're floating a ton of food, and then you get that text so that you can get the, um, the monk technologies for only food. Because then heresy costs 100 or 1,000 food, right? 
Do Burgundians even get heresy? I think they do. Yeah. Maybe Castle Age hand cannon? Very expensive. Have you eaten any bananas today? I haven't had a banana in like two months. I cannot remember when the last banana I ate was. What's up, Russell? How's it going, man? Oh god, why? Because I, I don't buy bananas on a regular basis. I don't really snack that much, you know? I eat once a day. So, like, I have a big meal once a day, and then that's about it. I might eat some, like, yogurt in the morning or something, but... Why do you hate bananas? I don't hate bananas. I just don't trust them. Only once you don't get hungry. I might get hungry for like two or three minutes here or there, and then I just forget about it. If I'm busy. Sicko? I am a sicko, yep. Bro, be like 57 kilogram. No, I weigh too. I'm too fat right now. What's up, Not Daddy? How's it going, man? All right, folks, we are in the extremely compelling portion of Arena where we figure out if someone's going to go light cab, and it looks like Sebastian is going to go for that light cab approach. Mr. Yo, just straight fast castle. 24 population. It's going to click up to Castle Age with 25 villagers, so it's not insanely aggressive. It is quick, but it's not like groundbreaking stuff. And now the question is, does he go onto the stone here? Or does he just play monks with maybe some spearmen? Sebastian's going to make that stable. So stable... Normally I'd like to see stable market. I feel like S Sebastian is more of a stable blacksmith kind of guy. Stable market. He, never mind. He's the stable market guy. I like stable market a lot better than stable blacksmith. The market gives you some flexibility. And you don't really need the blacksmith. Well, why, the, the market costs a little bit more than the blacksmith. Right? 25 wood more. But it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can sell your stone or buy stone or... Whatever, you can monitor the prices from your opponent so you know what they're doing. And the blacksmith, I mean, odds are you're not going to need the forging or uh, armor upgrade with your light cab because you're just trying to snipe monks. You're not, you're not fighting a full-on war against the opponent, and you don't need siege right away. So blacksmith prerequisite for the siege workshop is not needed. It's just... How was Yo up first? Sebastian has Burgundians? Because he went just straight fast castle and Sebastian went uh, stable uh, market and he's making scouts. So you have to stay in Dark Age a little bit longer for this build because you're going to need more food and more farms. Also, Sebastian is uh, getting the eco upgrades earlier, which is nice, but it's also an added expense. So Bohemian should always be up faster than Burgundians. Double monastery from Yo. We might even see the triple. And he'll spot the scouts from Sebastian. He does have spearmen though. Now the problem with just going spearmen monks with Bohemians against a light cap player is that they're slow. They're very, very slow. And the light cav most of the time will not die at all. To the spearmen and we'll run right around the spearmen and we'll just snipe the monks most of the time 
Siege Workshop here from Yo. He needs to keep the Spearman near his monks at all times. Sanctity is a priority for him. It will help his villagers a little bit, but primarily it's going to help his monks. Fervor as well to run away with the relics. Or run away from the Light Cav or run back to the Spearman as quickly as possible. And then a Scorpion maybe to help out. Where's the wood coming from? We don't know. This is good for Mr. Yo. Just make it as closed off as possible. Make yourself a little uh, base of operations. Don't send the Spearman back. That's a good decision to pull it back into the middle. And it'll be a ram. It'll be a ram from Yo. Really respecting the light, Cav. Managed to snag one relic. What does he see? He knows there's another relic out there. He might be able to sneak that one with fervor. You cannot garrison monks and rams or siege towers. That would be absolutely busted if you could. Just keep that in mind as he pushes forward. You can only put the villagers and the spearmen in there. Like Cap coming in. These things have sanctity. Yo, we'll be trying to convert another one. And... Wow, he kills the light cap, doesn't lose the monk, and converts the light cap from Sebastian. That's a great turn of events, and he kills another one! Sebastian was very busy with the ram, which is taken out now. But a great start to this fight so far for Mr. Yo. And Yo manages to escape with this light cap. Not for long. As Sebastian takes back a couple monks. Double stable production behind this. Double stable production for Sebastian and monks of his own. It was a good start for Mr. Yo. It's not going to be a good finish here. Just too many light cab. And now Knight's added in. Manganel pops out, says hello. And Yo will keep himself alive here for the time being. Sebastian might need to think about getting redemption. I think at this point, you just keep making light cab. You get devotion. And you kill all the monks from Mr. Yo. These Bohemian Spearmen are going crazy, dude. The extra bonus damage on them is really coming into play. And Sebastian is really struggling. He's struggling to kill any of these monks. Oh my god. Mr. Yo. I have seen this attempted so many times from people. To just go Spearman Monk with Bohemians, it rarely works against a light cap player. Usually the light cap player is just running around, sniping the monks. The Spearman can't catch up. In theory, it should be good, but it takes a special type of player to actually make it happen. And Mr. Yo is playing pretty patient with his Monk and Spearman positioning. And we can look at these guys. They have 12 kills. They have 12 kills, these four spearmen. Don't you want pikemen as yo? The spearmen are doing basically the same thing. You have to keep in mind that if you get pikemen, your opponent will just probably go into more monks and then start converting all your pikemen from you. Did Sebastian get husbandry? Yes, he did. I think Sebastian needs redemption, bro. Like, Yo is coming in now. He's going to go for a castle. Maybe that might be enough to stop it. I don't know. Sebastian doing a great job with these light cav, keeping them around, and he's going to snag this monk. <laughs> Mr. Yo. Knew that thing was on stand ground. There was no subtlety involved there. He's like, hey, look, a unit. I'm going to kill it. Another monk down. The ram has been killed. The mangonels will be killed. Devotion is in for these knights. Sebastian runs away with the knights. Denying the relics coming in and now has a castle up. 
and the knight gets converted. Yo, bean counter, thank you for the 16 months, man. Uh-oh. Mysterio, almost enough stone for a castle. If he goes for a castle forward, though, then it's a race to Imp. And it looks like Sebastian's going to be in a better position for that, right? He's got 21 on food. Look at this farm eco. It's beautiful. This is okay for a monk push, but it's still not fantastic. But still, Yo holding the forward pressure. More monks on the way. Yo could make this work. Res collected incredibly even. Incredibly even. Still only one relic so far for Mr. Yo and Sebastian taking in his first relic. He'll need that monastery back here. Please don't drop it off in that monastery. Please put it somewhere else. Sebastian. It belongs in a museum. Sebastian, not that museum. The other museum. Not that museum, Sebastian. Okay. Well, another relic coming home. Forward castle for Mr. Yo. Light Capper being converted. Castillier being converted. Oh no, Sebastian. Is this the fight you want? We'll see. The conversion's coming in for Mr. Yo. The castle going up. And Sebastian is busy getting all sorts of other techs rather than prioritizing. Going up to Imperial Age himself. He's selling the wood, he's selling the stone, he's going to buy the resources he needs, and they might click up at around the same time. And then we've got ourselves a trebuchet war. A bombard cannon war. However, Mr. Yo can get chemistry in Castle Age, so he can immediately produce bombard cannon. Sebastian is going to have to wait. He's going to have to wait until he's an imp to click that tech. Let's see if Yo goes for the university or not. No wood right now. I think he just treb the TC, not the castle. That is true. Now that he's through the wall, that is a good point. He could just pressure him off this gold with the mangonels and the Casile and the monks. And then uh, just get a treb working away there. And then you suck up all of the wood from Sebastian. That is a good point. Imagine Sebastian goes for a YOLO petard push into the Yo's TC now. I don't think that ever works. You need so many petards, man. You need two to get through the walls, and then you need at least five to kill the TC, and you'd probably have to add an extra three just in case. <laughs> and Yo would have vision on this. This is GG. Just wait. Let him cook. Probably is, though. If we let him cook even more, he's going to be well done. <laughs> My man is going to be well done. He's going to be roasted. Yo, he's not getting chemistry. I don't know if he needs it. Just trebs. Mangonels push forward. The castle is going up right beside the TC, but that won't defend against Trebuchet. It will give him another area to make trebs from. As Yo now gets redemption. And he's just going to play Redemption Monk's Trebs against the Bombard Cannon defense from Sebastian. He's up. I kept still roaming. Three relics for Yo. It was two relics for Sebastian. That would have been really, really nice if he had built that monastery. Even just a little further back, he's forced to make another one here with wood that he really doesn't have. He's grabbing them. Yo will go after the castle first. One Trev is not going to be enough to take out this TC. Once he has a couple, he can work on it. Chemistry on the way for Sebastian, but we have so many monks here from Mr. Yo. Already with redemption, with block printing, illumination is in. Mr. 
the stone supply is limited. 173 stone only left for Sebastian. Mr. Yo with a, a bunch more available to him. And the repairs, well, they won't be coming in for very long here from Sebastian. Unless he wants to use all of his gold to buy more stone, he's out of stone now. He is out of stone. And he doesn't have enough gold to buy. He's going to have to sell wood to buy stone. But that means no more trebs for him. As Yo tries to get the conversions here, Devotion is in for Sebastian, plus the resistance from the Light Cab. Yo's castle goes down, which means only two trebuchets, or sorry, three trebuchets. But he still does have an army that Sebastian can't beat, and Sebastian's castle is going to fall as well. Both players are housed. Yo at 80 pop, Sebastian at 65. He is trying to hold the line. But he doesn't he doesn't have any military. He's trying to go into hand cannons, but the eco won't sustain that. Yo is pushing forward with the monks now. Sebastian, 126 stone only and 78 only left on that pile. The Trebs are putting good work against the monks, but he can't replace them. And he calls the GG. Fantastic play from Mr. Yo. I thought for a while uh, Sebastian was going to really clear this up with the double stable production, but it didn't work out. It did not work out for him. Mr. Yo, very stubborn. Goes over here with the castle. I think Sebastian probably could have been up earlier at Imperial Age. Probably could have had way better micro with the light cav against the monks than he did. Um, but still, great play from Mr. Yo. And that's why Arena is his home map. It's gotten better. Like I said, Yo will cook him in Arena. Okay. Conversions, way more for Yo. And the eco was so, so close. Food. A lot more for Sebastian, but the gold supply for Mr. Yo, I mean, jeez. Doubled him up there. Yohemians? <laughs> Pog? Do you remember the last Sakatra game that Yo played in this tournament with Bohemians? Was no, he was against Bohemians, right? He was playing as like Incas or something. Who was playing against him? I can't remember, but they YOLO'd literally 45 villas trying to get a castle up. Arabia was a win for Sebastian. Arena was a win for Yo. We probably go on to Haboob. It was Draken. That's right. It was Draken. That was a crazy game. We run an ad now. Uh, Extra Step's probably already on it. Just so you don't get one during the middle of the game. Yeah, he's on it. Yes. Exercept is touching grass. That's what he does. Goth seems unlikely to get used. If we're going to see it, it's going to be here, probably. Ah, uh, here is Sakatra. Goss is actually really likely to be used. I think the least likely civs here to be used are Turks and uh, Spanish. Imagine Yo with Turks on Haboob. Yeah, it just Yola's everything for a castle. <laughs> It it worked for you pudding. Guys, it worked for you pudding. Remember that. He beat Viper doing that. I guess he did open with some 
other stuff though. Wasn't he playing? Was he Goths? I can't remember. Goths are really good on Haboob and Sakatra though, because you can you're so close, so you can go for it with that villager instantly to lame. And if if you steal like an elephant or something, you get extra value from that. Sato's doing the Star Trek Fleet Command ad. I've been thinking about accepting their offer because I like Star Trek, but I don't know if Fleet Command is any good. Is it a like pay to win game? I assume so. Political analysis. Thank you for the 21 months, man. It's a pay to win? Okay, then I won't do that. You all, your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax. Man off, thank you for the 19 months, man. Once again, Basos forgot to remind me to sub with Prime, so I saw some filthy ads. Let me call him to complain. He's not picking up. He's not picking up. <clears throat> Jeff? Mushy mushy? Jeff? <laughs> he never picks up? I know. Let's someone try calling him again. <laughs> someone try calling him again. Maybe he'll pick up this time. <laughs> All right, they're in the lobby here. We're going on to Haboob for sure. Star Trek has a very underwhelming record with games. There was one, it was like, um, it was a free-to-play game that I played like 10 years ago. It was like an MMO or something that I thought was okay. It was okay when I was playing against the, uh, you know, the PvE stuff, but as soon as I went PvP, I got blasted out of the out of the skies or out of the universe or whatever. Star Trek Online? Yeah, it was Star Trek Online. It's still good? That game's still active? Damn. If I got owned then, imagine how badly I get owned now. You got people with 15 years of experience. All right. Game number four. Yo playing as Celts, Sebastian as the Persians. Both seem like they have potential for this map. You are so close. The Celts, they could go for that forward siege. They could go for the infantry early. Militia or men-at-arms or whatever. But the Persians have 4,800 HP on their TC. So if you're going to eat the TC, you better make sure that you have a big enough appetite. That your stomach is ready for this because it's it's very filling. It's extremely filling. It's like a deep dish pizza of a town center. That's right. And this is like a thin crust. How much handicap would it take for a controller player to beat Hera on Arena? Oh. We might need to like cut off one of his arms. I'm not telling you to. I'm just saying in a hypothetical situation. Wouldn't be enough. Right arm. Has to be the right arm. <laughs> Better with both arms? Fuck. It's getting dark, dude. <laughs> Mouse only? No, mouse only Dave can beat controller player Dave. So, uh, yeah. I'm <laughs> assuming that mouse only era can beat controller player Dave. All right. Does Yo go for the Militia? I think that's the more consistent approach. You could go Fast Castle, but I think like the two Militia or maybe Men-at-Arms is way better. You take map control. 
And then you try and either continue harassing the wood lines, go for tower forwards and whatnot, or sneak your way up to Castle Age if you can. And then try for the siege push. Persians are going to be a tough nut to crack either way. More HP on their town center. It works faster, so they're always going to have a villager lead over you if they keep their production up. And you start with some extra resources as Persians too, so it's a really, really solid start. And I don't know if Celts have enough to catch up to that, even with the wood bonus, even with the siege firing faster. Don't know if it's enough. It's going to be the militia for Mr. Yo. Does Marauder beat Mouse only Hera? Uh, probably not, honestly. Remember that Mouse only MBL routinely beats like 1900 players. Yeah, 1K, 2, 2K1. Yeah, he's beaten them in the past. He won't routinely do that, but. Can we have a Hera versus Hera show match? Where are these birds going? I'm watching you, dude. You've turned around. Now you're trying to split up? I'm watching you. They're coming back again. Cool. Men at arms, the most likely thing here for Mr. Yo. He sends two to gold. He's making the militia already. And he's on the way to the feudal age, but feudal age is coming in even faster for Sebastian. And he doesn't have loom. He does not have loom. So Yo could have actually really griefed him. Here on this barracks. But I think Yo is like assuming he has loom or something. He didn't look at all. And now he's coming in with the militia. Sees the houses. Sebastian will just wall this off right into the town center. Mr. Yo will need to pressure this area, which isn't the worst for him. He was expecting that anyway. And Sebastian will go for his stable. Do you think they made travel plans or are they just winging it? Well, they'll figure it out on the fly, dude. 100%. They'll figure it out on the fly. Smallest pyramid, pyramid ever. Dude, where's your pyramid, bro? Don't chirp that. Don't chirp the pyramid on Haboob. Where's your pyramid? The only pyramid you're involved in is that pyramid scheme. I talked to your cousin Jeremy. I know you took all of his money. Disgusting. Honestly, shameless. Lol, kid has no pyramid? Bro, that kid will never have a pyramid. Ever. <laughs> Don't talk about this pyramid. Men-at-arms are back here. Fast men-at-arms with the Celts. Very quick, very speedy. Way faster than the villagers. And he takes the fight. And that's a dead vilt for Sebastian. He does get a little bit of extra damage, though, against the scouts and against the men-at-arms. And remember, he has a villager lead from the Persians. So he can afford to kind of give that up. He still has a vil lead here. Mr. Yo now making spearmen, now making archers. He wants to keep these alive. He wants to meet them up with the archers and the spearmen. Sebastian definitely doesn't want that to happen. And he's just going to sacrifice a bunch of scout HP to get rid of this army early. Great fight there for Sebastian. Now, Yo, you, you got to go back, maybe. I don't know. Getting awfully aggressive with this archer and spearmen. Again, Sebastian running into some spear hits. He was so good on Arabia not doing that. On Arena, he ran into a ton. He loses a guy here. He loses some HP on another scout over here. And Yo is actually feeling comfortable now with that scout army diminished. And he will have to now contend with skirmisher production from Sebastian. 
I wonder now if Yo goes for the market and sells that stone, or if he comes forward for a tower and uses the stone. You don't want to save it for another TC because you can't add another town center. Celts eat censored word. Is that TC or is that something else? What are the Celts eating today, folks? Thanks, Lars. You are so comfortable here. Bagels? Yeah. No armor on these skirmishers. No fletching on the skirms. But fletching is just coming in from Mr. Yo, and he's got to run from this. And if he even stops for one second, he's going to lose all his archers. Sebastian, still with a vill lead. Still with a vill lead. And Yo doesn't even have that first wood upgrade. Ugh. Ew. I don't like that at all. Also don't like the amount of idle TC time here from Mr. Yo. Oh my god. Yo, what's going on? He's busy, guys. He's busy. A minute and 45 seconds of idle TC time versus the Persians. He's now five villagers ahead despite losing a villager earlier. Yo, was housed at 30 pop? Yeah, that's not good. It's not good at all. Eight skirmishers against five from Mr. Yo. The scouts are still here, making things incredibly difficult. But he does have an army over here if he wants to come in. However, Sebastian still has that defensive force, so Yo's going to have to pull that army back. He's going to have to engage with Vils. And I don't even think Celts are going to be getting to a position where they can eat the TC. Unless Sebastian has pulled all these skirms away, which he has. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? He's bringing the skirms to the front. We still have three archers mixed in here. Yo gets a counter raid and Sebastian actually has to pull some army over to deal with it. Not much of a break for Mr. Yo though because there's still too much military forward. And yeah, he's kind of cooked. He's kind of cooked here. This is all in on market, sell everything, go up to Castle Age angle. Because I don't know if you're ever catching up with this production from Sebastian in the Feudal Age. This is really, 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 really bad for Mr. Yo. Yeah, he'll lose all the skirms. Consistently denied off the berries. State of his wood economy right now. And he goes for the market. Now, Sebastian doesn't see this market. So he could assume that Yo is just going to keep, you know, investing into the Feudal Age. And he might be caught by surprise if he doesn't spot it soon. But I think he will spot it now. He gets pushed back. Wow, he still doesn't see it. Yo's got some wood to sell. He's got some stone to sell. Still no first wood upgrade for Mr. Yo. And his resources suddenly look a lot better than they did previously. Still terrible, but somehow better. This is the somehow, by the way, the market. Sebastian now selling his res. Uh-oh, he's going to be up first. <laughs> oh no, Sebastian is going to be in the castle age first with more military, more map control, way more eco. And Yo goes up. His town center also works faster going to the castle age. So two minutes away for him. 25 seconds behind is Mr. Yo. That's a good, that's a neat trick though. Loading the spearmen in there and popping them out. Getting some shots against the, the scouts. Celts can always try and turn this around. If they get enough spears, 
If they get enough mangonels attacking the TC, maybe it can happen. But I think if you're Sebastian, you just always keep your army forward here and you try and prevent the Siege Workshop going up within range of this. And also, you have 4,800 HP. You've got so much room to, like, have a counter strategy against the Mangonel push. Your TC can take so many shots. That's a sick pyramid in the middle. It's It was called small earlier. It was laughed at earlier. By a kid who doesn't even have a pyramid. Can you imagine that? Love pyramids? Same. Look at how big this is, right? Like, that's a human. That's a door for a human. And then this is the pyramid. And someone's laughing at it for being small? That's like somebody's tombstone. That's like their the monument to their life, you know? Like, the only thing that guy's going to have is an employee of the month picture in a closet somewhere in the McDonald's he worked at when he was 17. Uh-oh. Mr. Yo. It's problematic. He's getting pikemen. If he clears up the skirmishers, maybe there's no solution to the pikemen. N nope. Psych. Manganel here from Sebastian. And Yo's Siege Workshop is way too defensive. He's <laughs> talking shit about 90% of his shit. It's a joke. He was never employee of the month. I don't think I need to tell you what's happening. Yo is on his left last legs. Absolutely last legs here. Legs or last leg? Maybe he started with three. We never know. Maybe he's only got two. Rooting for Sebastian? Well, you've picked a good side to cheer for here. Because Yo has absolutely nothing going for him at the moment. Maybe there's a world in which he can buy himself enough stone for a castle, come all the way around this side of the map, and drop it on the TC, but then he's still up against Persians. And Sebastian has a bazillion HP. Joe has got a lot going for him. He's a nice hero. That is true. That is a factually correct statement. This monk has stolen the relic from the ancient uh, pyramid and has brought it back to the civilization's museum. Good job from Sebastian there. Mr. Yo, still with 13 Vils Garrison. Still only one Mangonel for him. And now three pikemen. What on earth is this Mangonel going to do against the knights? It's going to do absolutely nothing because Sebastian kills it right away. And that's the moment for Mr. Yo where he's like, okay. Even I can't pull this back. Sebastian taking the second win. It is now 2-2, and we're going to a game five. Can Sebastian beat Mr. Yo here? This one was basically chalked ever since he uh, had a minute and 30 seconds of idle TC time, Mr. Yo. Probably ever since he lost those men-at-arms, it was kind of chalked. Katie, really significant there for Sebastian and the eco really far in front, too. Sakatra game five? That's right. Sakatra game five, baby. And we have the Goths and we have the Aztecs. Or you could go for the Spanish, too. I'm not certain that we will see the Turks. But you never know. Salam. Yeah, this is the most meta sudden death set I've seen. <laughs> and it has yo in it too. 
I'm a turkey? What? Like, do you mean to say I'm in Turkey? I'm thinking about Turkey. You're just, you are a turkey? Okay. Be careful around November. That's some good advice. <laughs> Be very, very careful around November if you're in the, the United States area. If you're in Canada, be very careful around uh, early October. And Christmas time, too. If you made it past November, there's another hurdle. Why? Because of Thanksgiving. Elections? No, I don't think the turkey is thinking much <laughs> about the elections, bro. Okay, game five, Socotra. Boom. Sebastian as the Goss, Yo as the Aztecs, and Yo will bring in his elephant super quickly, which is great. Uh, I'm tired of seeing people taking a goat and they're trying to they're trying to suck every single last food droplet out of that goat while the elephant is sitting forward and it gets lamed by their opponent. It's annoying. It doesn't make any sense, you know. Benton, thank you for the three months, man. Is Dave short for Davington? Sure. As we see Sebastian laming all of the zebra from Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo does have the berries back. He does have gold back. He does have... So this is a fantastic map for Mr. Yo. Other than the fact that his hunt is forward, this is a phenomenal map for him. Really, really solid. And Yo will be moving forward with the eagle looking for anything to lame from Sebastian. Sebastian's map, not the same story. <laughs> the zebra are forward... The gold is forward. The stone is not really in the back like Yo's. The berries are a little bit exposed. He does have a gold back here, which is nice. But uh, yeah, Mr. Yo, in terms of Sakatra maps, is really good. However, Sebastian can really screw this up. Sebastian's already walling in the berries. Standard practice. You got to lame the food. And if he comes back here, he could actually like wall himself in and lame the stone. As now, Yo is like the last zebra remaining on the savanna, and I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I don't think the island of Socotra has any zebra on it. I'm not sure. Like, what large mammals does the island of Socotra have? I know it's got a bunch of these dragon trees. None? Okay. It's very desolate. I know the people who live there are primarily, like, it's fishing is their thing. It's off the coast of Yemen, yeah. Loom is in for both players. They don't want to take the villager war yet. There's a villager taking the food forward. Yo is not going to be very happy with that. And he'll engage against her, and he'll use the eagle to block. However, the eagle is fairly weak from before. So it can't take the 1v1 against the villager, and now they're just going to share. Yo, also not dropping a mill here. He's going to try and drop a mill here, and he's going to discover, uh-oh, my berries have been lamed. And that'll force the mill out on these zebra bodies over here. Still plenty of food, food, plenty of food, plenty of food available for both, which is a rarity in Socotra. Especially when it's Goths against Aztecs, you would expect the lames coming out earlier. It's actually two villagers kind of laming the food now for Mr. Yo, and they're carrying 50 food like that woman is escaping with multiple steaks.
multiple. This whole tournament is clown mode on clown maps. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that, yeah, that's that's the whole point. That's the whole point. Metal face, thank you for the eight months. No longer subscribing with your wife's Twitch account, eh? My man is unbanned. Berries are still walled off. The eagle is now discovering the stone. That's a great spot for Mr. Yo. To find that stone back there. It's a good fallback plan. If he walls like this, he could have stone, gold, berries if he walls to here. Because he's definitely going to take out these walls and work away on the berries. Could be a really, really nice setup for him. Sebastian is at 22 population right now. Is he going fast castle? Or is this just a lack of food from him? It looks like a lack of food. What is W-E-L-M? That's the worker efficiency last minute. So basically what subscri uh, subtracts from the worker efficiency is when villagers are standing around or when they are walking. So Yo's worker efficiency last minute is 51%. I don't know if fighting, I think fighting counts for not being efficient as well. Because he kills the house and Sebastian is now housed. Make another one. No food, just hunt trees. Oh, that is a hilarious bug. If anyone hasn't seen that bug, it's something that needs to get fixed right now. You can make it so that villagers can shoot down trees with arrows and then harvest food from them. That is something that needs to get fixed with the highest priority. The universe isn't we are. Paragonicalis, thank you for the 12 months. That's right. I absolutely, absolutely got your name 100% right on the pronunciation. It was perfect. I've trained my whole life for this. You should have heard your mom last night. She sounded like my great Thank you, Cultivated Meat, for the gifts of the Grath Rank. Good gift here. Thank you. Interesting bug would give Forest Nothing a new dimension. No, I don't think it would work on Forest Nothing. I don't think it would work because there's no hunt to take. So you... you you can't meet the conditions of the bug. Link for bug bug explanation. Why? Why do you want it? Research purposes? Why do you want to know how to do it, dude? You can make the bug start using a farm. Really? I didn't know that. Okay. That was only hunt. Anyway, we've got eagles here from Mr. Yo. We've got skirmishers here from him. More skirms. On this uh, archer range forward from Sebastian as he tries to take the berries. The eagles are going to make things very difficult for Sebastian. They'll perform really well against the spearmen, really well against the skirms, and Sebastian's going to have to use his villagers to fight these. Also, his scout is weak from before, and it's getting even weaker. Can you show how? Why? Reddit posts of the 1800 ELO player using the bug intentionally and still losing. Yikes. If you're using that bug on the rank ladder, there's something wrong with you. Like, intentionally. It can happen unintentionally, but... Ranked is literally unplayable. Are there a bunch of people using it? Ugh. Ugh. That's really bad. All right. Tons of spearmen, tons of skirms. Not what we expected from the Goss, right? Not what we expected at all. There's an argument, I think, to be made for forging. <laughs> Here for Sebastian. <laughs> Get a little extra damage on these spearmen, you know what I'm saying? Perform better against the eagles. Skirmisher was tweaking out here. And that eagle is outnumbered by the spearmen, but still, the skirmisher's working away on the skirms from Sebastian. They're going to clear up the remaining spearmen. 
as well as the skirmishers and then sebastian will have to contend with more eagle production when it trains it pow teams or maybe just even a fast castle attempt now for mr yo would not be surprised to see the market he's going to go for the blacksmith instead nine skirms in the queue he cancels them okay <laughs> thought i saw did i was i tripping there or did i see nine skirms in the queue from that one range i think i did maybe i'm seeing things but i'm pretty sure i saw that it was nine? Oh god sp sean thank for the 33 bucks man thank you so much man when it rains it poutines yeah that's just more money for show matches. More money for Money Match Monday. That's what that is. Even though it's a Wednesday today. We often see skirms dominate on Sakatra. Why are they more dominant on this map than Arabia? Uh, I think there's less areas for your archers to sneak around. Um, it's really, really close. And that kind of dictates all of the unit choices, right? So... If you go archers, they get countered heavily by skirms. If you go scouts to counter the skirms, well, you can keep your spearmen really close to your skirm army and protect them against the scouts. So you don't go scouts, which means that your only real solution here is to go skirm as well. So skirm will force out other skirm. Mycotron, thank you for the 10 months. And that all just has to do with the lack of space. And how close the opponents are to you. Sebastian's the first player to the market. Sells his stone. Jeez. Still mining it. Nomad Crows, thank you for the tier one. Welcome. Salutes for the tier one first timer. Micatron, thank you for the uh, 10 months, man. Is the conversion rate that bad? I paid 50 cents USD. You paid $50 USD. Or, no, no, 25 USD, maybe. 3381. Getting the conversion rate backwards. That tower from Mr. Yo will kick him off the stone. The gold is still available over here, though, and Yo will come over with more skirms. Yo is still not up. But Sebastian won't be able to go for a castle drop or anything because he's off the stone. And that's the only stone available to him. And now Yo is killing a villager over on this side. Yo will come over with more skirms. He's still not that far away from clicking up himself. He just needs a market. And Yo is walling in this tower. Really wise decision. Either force the delete of the market. Force the villagers to come forward. And batter these walls down. Or force them to just live with that tower. If you don't wall it in, it's a very t easy tower for uh, Sebastian to take out. And Yo's going to come over here, presumably with another tower, to just make life hell for Sebastian. Sebastian, however, has plenty of wood and lots of gold in the bank still, so he could go for Siege immediately. And I think when Yo sees that Sebastian is in Castle Age, like he needs to make a beeline for Castle Age himself. He'll go for another tower on this side, but Sebastian still has 300 gold available to him in the bank. And it should just be Siege Workshop. He doesn't have a blacksmith. Oh, no. Oh, he needs the blacksmith first before the Siege Workshop. Oh, that's so tragic. Oh, that's not something you think about. Oh, that's just tragedy right there. And you will see the blacksmith going up. He now knows he's got time. Before the Siege Workshop goes up, which you can see right here. Yeah. Sebastian tried to come out for this tower, but Yo was there with a villager. Four villagers to protect it. And Sebastian still can't take the gold. That is so brutal. I think we've all been in that situation where you're like, why can't I make this Siege Workshop? Why can't I even place it in the first place? Well, no blacksmith, my friend. That's awful. <laughs> Triple Maganel, though. Triple Maganel production. And he'll go after this tower and then onto the stone instead of going back over towards this gold. Mr. Yo is 
two minutes away from Castle H. Has to be very careful with these skirms. Is Yodis trying to get whatever value he can with this tower? He's not going after the Maginol. He goes after the villain instead. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's targeting the weak ones, bro. No! She survived! The tower goes down right before the villager is killed. And now Sebastian coming out this way to try and batter down this tower. Mr. Yo still has an archer there, though. Oh, no. And the Mangonel is not close enough. Sebastian could lose, like, three of these villagers, potentially. Let's see if Yo can take them. He misses. He misses again. He misses for a third time. He gets her. <laughs> you miss all the shots you don't take, chat. Towers suck ass. Well, you have a lot in common. He goes try and take out the Maganol. They just might. They just might. They just might. He's blocking with the build. They just might. It does, dude. It does. It takes out the Maganel Mr. Yo with the value. And now Eagle Warrior on the way in. The Siege Workshop forward. And the stone count for Mr. Yo is looking dangerous. I don't think you can get away with a forward castle drop on the town center, though. That is definitely too much of a risk. Unless you've cleared up all of the Mangonels. Great walls from Sebastian. It was a nice attempt from Sebastian. As the house foundation goes down anyway. And the Eagles are in. And that's a GG. Mr. Yo taking game five with some aggression. Sebastian. He tried to come forward. He tried to lame. But at the end of the day. Like you gotta have more production. If you have golds and stones exposed like this. This is a very common generation for Sakatra to have the golds and stones like this. This is a lot more uncommon for Yo, but it didn't matter anyway because Sebastian never really had forward pressure at all. Didn't matter at all. Elevid, thank like, you for the 37 months. Thanks everyone for being here. Thanks for the follows. Chat. This was a super entertaining set. A lot more meta uh, than the normal sudden death sets, but we might see that as we get deeper into this tournament. The grand final, I believe, is on Sunday. Uh, because John Slow asked me if I wanted to cast with him. I said, sure. And I think it'll be... This Sunday, I believe? 